The speed of light is about 300 million meters per second, and it is also, in fact, the fastest achievable speed in the universe. This video is brought to you by My Astronomy Channel. Well, it seems like much, but considering the size of the universe, it's not that impressive. And reaching other stars, even traveling at the speed of light, is still a fantasy. In fact, light can go around Earth about 8 times per second. But since light also has its own limits, we can only see things in the past. Think about it for a second. When you talk to somebody standing in front of you, you can only see him as he was 3.3 nanoseconds in the past. That's how long it takes light to reach you from this person. Everything you see around you, you see the way it was in the past. That's the nature of light. It is impossible to see things in the universe as they are now, only in the past. Let me give you some examples. Looking at our own moon, it is almost 380,000 kilometers from us, meaning that from your garden, you can only see the moon the way it was almost 1.3 seconds in the past. The sun is 150 million kilometers away, and we see it 8 minutes in the past. Planet Pluto is almost 5.5 hours in the past. Let's take it further now. Our nearest star, Alpha Proxima, is a part of a three-star system called Alpha Centauri. It is about 4.3 light years away, meaning that we see Alpha Proxima the way it was 4.3 years in the past. Now it's becoming really interesting. Let's assume there is a solid planet just next to Alpha Proxima, and there are modern alien observers there watching us on Earth just now. They would see Earth four years in the past. Well, from a great distance, Earth would look pretty much the same, right? Right. Let's assume just for a second that their telescope is so powerful that it could see every human on our planet. Well, they could see you four years in the past, because the light would reach them only after four years of traveling in space in 300 kilometers per second. That works exactly the same when you observe Alpha Proxima from Earth. We see it four years in the past. The same goes when observing any other star in the universe. Our solar system is located about 25,000 light years from the center of our galaxy, the Milky Way. Which means that every time you look at the center of our galaxy, you actually see it the way it was 25,000 years ago. Fascinating, huh? Let's think of a star located just 2,000 light years away from us, very close to Earth on a galactic scale. Now let's assume that as you watch this video, there is someone there observing Earth with a super huge telescope. So they are observing the Earth from 2,000 light years away, and thus see us 2,000 years in the past. Assuming their equipment is sophisticated enough so they can see humans in details, then in fact, they would see the Romans marching in the Sada Desert, or maybe even Jesus Christ walking in Jerusalem. Let's go further to our nearest galaxy, Andromeda. It is, by the way, bigger than our own Milky Way galaxy, and contains billions of stars and who knows how many planets. Andromeda is 2.5 million light years away, meaning we see it 2.5 million years in the past. So, if an alien from Andromeda is observing us just now, they would sure see Earth 2.5 million years in the past. So again, our planet will look pretty much the same from space, but assuming these observers can really see small details on Earth, then they would see no more than humans but instead, they would see the Homo habilis, or all descendants of humans with their stone tools. Definitely not an advanced civilization. How about taking our experience one step further and push deeper into space? 
Let's go this time to some distant galaxy located about 200 million light years away. Let's assume again there are aliens there and they are observing us with a modern telescope allowing them to see the smallest details on the planet. Well, they would see only one continent on Earth. That's how Earth was 200 million years ago. But here comes the cool thing. Looking at Earth, they would see the first dinosaurs running free on this sole continent. We can continue this more and more. The further the alien observers is from Earth, the further into the past will it see planet Earth. So just for getting a better proportion of how big the universe is, let's lastly assume this alien is on a galaxy located 5 billion light years from us. Well, if these observers are watching the exact location of planet Earth now, they would see it the way it was 5 billion years ago. Right? Right. Only that planet Earth didn't exist 5 billion years ago. So they would actually see dark, empty space, exactly where we will all be in the future. This video is brought to you by My Astronomy Channel.